Hello everybody and welcome back to another news video. Surprisingly this week for some reason, uh, everybody decided to drop some brand new light novels on us. Tonight we're taking a look at what Yen On has to offer. They've got four brand new light novel series and a fifth light novel series that is currently being released digitally only by J Noble and they are going to be releasing it in print. So let's take a look at what they've got on offer. First up, we've got The Other World's Books Depend on the Bean Counter. This one is written by Yatsuki Wakatsu with illustrations by Kika Ohashi. Seichiro Kondo is a 29-year-old accountant and major workaholic. When he's accidentally transported to another world, not only does he demand a job, but he starts whipping the lackadaisical Royal Accounting Department into shape. When he gets in over his head and nearly dies from overwork, the handsome Commander Aresh stops in to save him, and the two develop a unique physical relationship as a form of medical treatment. Now, this one currently has three volumes out in Japan, and from what I can tell, it looks like it is complete. Next up, Yen licensed Miss Savage Fang. This one is written by Kakaku Akashi and has illustrations by Kayahara. Mylene has it all. She's the daughter of nobility. She boasts incredible aptitude with magic and the blade. And she possesses striking vermilion tinged locks that signify she has been chosen by God. Yet this elegant warrior hides a shocking secret. Inside her lurks the soul of the strongest mercenary in history, Savage Fang. In his past life, Savage Fang cut down countless bows of superior ability for his employers with nothing but cunning and strength. Now, reborn as my lead, this former sellsword will use her past experience and newfound powers to shape the world as she sees fit. Even if she has to get her aristocratic peers involved along the way. Uh, now this one has two volumes already out in Japan. I'm really not too sure if it's complete. Uh, the last volume was released back in November of 2021. Next up, Yen On announced they are releasing You Are My Regret. This one is written by Shibe Saba, with illustrations by Ui Shigure. Yuzuru Amida is filled with regret. Although he fell in love with free-spirited Ai Mizuno in middle school, he never managed to tell her how he felt, and they subsequently drifted apart. But when Yuzuru reunites with Ai by chance in the summer after his first year of high school, he realizes that his feelings for her haven't changed in the slightest. As this pair of total opposites gets reacquainted, however, they sometimes butt heads and find themselves at odds with each other. When all is said and done, will they end up as friends or something more? Now this one has three volumes in Japan. The last volume came back in May 2022. Um, but just doing like a quick translation on the comments on that volume, it doesn't look like that's the end of the series. Finally, in terms of brand new licenses, Yenon announced the unimplemented overlords have joined the party. This one is written by Nagawasabi64. Uh, you guys are going to totally know what kind of book this is just by the fact that he's got 64 at the end of his name. Uh, with illustrations by Kawaku. Young gamer Shutaru is among the lucky few chosen to playtest Eternity, the latest VR MMORPG, and he wastes no time in activating his unique dungeon creation skill at the exact moment when the game glitches out. Now, he and his fellow playtesters are trapped and their very lives are at stake. Shutaro happens to end up in the one area that has yet to be patched into the game, the final boss lair where the six evil overlords lurk. 
they promptly declare him their master. And with Eternity's strongest baddies on his team, Shutaro is up for any adventures this new life will throw at him. This one it appears to be ongoing. There are six volumes currently released in Japan. Finally, for the series that Yen On is going to be releasing in print, this one's already well being released digitally by J Novel Club, and that is Black Summoner. Uh, this one's written by Dofu Mayoi with illustrations by Kurogi. Waking up in a strange new place with no memories of his past life, Kelvin learns that he's bartered away those very memories in exchange for powerful new abilities during his recent transmigration. Heading out into a whole new world as a summoner, with his first follower being the very goddess who brought him over, Kelvin begins his new life as an adventurer. And it isn't long before he discovers his hidden disposition as a battle junkie. Now this one has 19, that's 1-9 volumes available in Japan, and Jave Novel Club is not far behind. They're actually releasing the 14th volume of this one digitally in September. I'm curious if uh, there's somebody thinking that this is going to make a bigger splash because it seems odd that Yen would be doing this one in print when it's so far ahead digitally. I'm not too sure. In any case, those are all the new titles that Yen On has announced today. What do y'all think? Uh, it sounds like we've got ourselves a couple of isekai and a romance. Which, you know, well, two isekai, a reincarnation, and a romance series. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a decent blend or nah? Let me know in those comments down below. In the meantime, thank you so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye for now.